Hello everyone, it's Dan Wardrobe here from Flexible. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to land paper lead clients if you don't have a testimonial or any case studies um, of clients in that particular vertical or industry. Okay, and this is one of the big questions that a lot of our students have and it's a question that people ask me all the time. So there's a few things I can do um, or that you can do in order to, to move forward and land these clients without that that case study or testimonial. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching our content. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we're gonna be releasing new videos. So if you wanna stay up to date, all you have to do is click that subscribe button and ring that bell right down there. So the first thing is um, most of us or most people are doing marketing, uh, digital marketing, running Facebook ads have got experience in some industry, right? In some vertical. So. Whenever you're approaching someone new, I do what I call a, a kind of grandfather type deal, a grandfathered deal for that particular client. So I'll say, listen, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, uh, you know, you're right, we haven't got any experience in this industry. However, we have got a great deal of experience in this other industry, X, Y, Z, and we're looking to use our expertise to, to move into a new market. And you're one of the first people we've reached out to because your client because your uh, your business looks like it can really scale and you can get some good results and, and we can help grow with you. So what we'll do is we'll we'll figure out a, a good deal where you know we get paid on performance or <clears throat> we get rewarded more based on how things go um, rather than a kind of upfront pay per lead deal, right? So um, maybe you can pay for the ad spend and we'll just get paid when uh, some conversions start coming in or some leads are converted, you're in and you'll pay us a slice of the commission for when that happens, all right? We don't normally do this, but because you're a new client and we haven't got much experience in this industry, even though we're very experienced, um, this is an offer that we can, this is a deal we can offer you now and it's not gonna be around forever type thing, all right? And that usually, if you're transparent with them like that and you have, um, you know, a goal of kind of helping them in mind, then they'll usually be receptive to something like that. The next thing is, if you can, possibly before the call, sometimes after the call, is show them the funnel pre-built ready for them. Okay, and I know this sounds like a lot of work, but in this day and age with um, tools like Leads Hook and Unbounce and Quick Funnels, etc., you can actually build something pretty quickly that you know, it's, it's, may, it's maybe not what the traffic is going to see, but it's going to be enough to convince um, a client that you're serious and it also um, you know shows them that you've got some get up and go about you and you're keen and you want to make this work all right and that and that says a lot I think if I was approached as a business owner and someone produced the entire funnel between the sa initial sales call and the next day um, then that's a pretty good sign that this this uh, this particular person or business businessman is very much wanting to make this work all right so show them show them the funnel um a lot of the times in paper lead we have specific lead generation brands which are really kind of sexy and they have um you know a bit of pizzazz about them and they've got some real personality and we actually show those brands to the client all right and you can do all of this up front um so either show them the funnel or show them your lead generation brand website and that usually does a great deal to impress them all right, and you can have all of this done and built without any experience in advance of the call or within 24 hours, okay? It's pretty easy to do and it's always um, a, a good tactic. And yeah, it takes time um, and it's, uh, it's work, right? But come on, you gotta start somewhere. The third thing we do, which is kind of linked to the second thing, is that we will record a, a little Loom video or a screencast of what is going on behind the scenes. So. If, a lot of the times clients need to visualize what's happening, right? So what we'll do is we'll we'll put up a, a an ad or like an ad in Facebook or whatever. We'll show them what that looks like. And we'll say when people click on they, their ad, they go to this page, right? And this is what it looks like. But the magic, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Client, is what goes on when uh, behind the scenes. And then you can go under the hood and show them behind the scenes with inside your quiz software. Um, a lot of the time we use survey funnels and quiz funnels and things like that. Um, or it could be an advertorial funnel, but at least you can show them what it looks like. I think what clients really love 
is is getting leads that they they they're going to close that fit their criteria. So you can say, Mr. Client, if a uh, hundred people hit this funnel, then we're going to kick out fifty of those people because they're not a good fit for what you guys offer. And we can do, and you can put them into a drip sequence on on email, or you can actually pass them on to one of your business colleagues or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but we're only wanting to bring you the best quality leads and this is how it looks. And if you can show them via a video and, and visualize it for them, then you've got a really good chance of, of uh, closing that deal. So that's another, another good step. And the last one is be transparent as, as with commercials, right? There's no point in trying to hide too much, all right? We're all business owners here. We're all entrepreneurs. Um, and we all need both parties need to make money so you you need to be transparent if, if this client that you're speaking to can make it let's say they make two thousand dollars or two thousand pounds on a, a, a closed kind of case or a closed lead then it they probably need to be their cpa or their their cost per acquisition of that needs to be probably below a thousand because they've got to make profit, they've got their staff overheads and things like that to pay. So if you can say that if we give you 10 leads for 50, uh, 50 bucks each, and the usual conversion rate is 10%, then it's gonna cost you 500 to land uh, a closed client, rather than a thousand. So there's gonna be plenty of margin in it. And um, I, I think we can get the leads for 25 bucks, which means we're, we're doing well, you're doing well, both parties are winning and this is a scalable solution. And if you can be transparent and run through these figures in a, a professional um, uh, kind of logical manner, then clients uh, tend to enjoy that type of conversation too. Um, so there we go, four really good tips on how to close client paper lead clients without uh, testimonials. The main, you know, the good thing is with paper lead is that um, it's a it's a low entry point offer. It's very, especially in these economic times, it's very much a um, you know an offer that converts. So get your offer in front of as many people as you can and watch the deals being done. And hopefully these four tips will will help you. Speak soon.